Bunlar hepsi bir testikler. Sömürlüsüyle sindirme. O sömürlüsüyle testikler sindirme. Nalı testikler insensitif androgen sindirme. Here the patient has a um, defect on the testosterone and the hydro testosterone, that are quite the same receptor. Uh, defect on these receptors that leads to insensitivity. So even though the patient is producing normal levels of androgen, they are completely normal. The levels under the there is no defect on the androgen production. The problem is that in the peripheral tissue, here the receptors are not functioning. So the the androgen comes here, either the testosterone or the dihydrotestosterone, but there is no effect. So the patient, this is a 46XY male. So the patient has the Mullerian inhibitory factor. So the patient has no female internal genitalia, um, internal organs, sorry, internal organs, that include the uterus, cervix, and proximal vagina because has the Mullerian inhibitory factor. The patient has no uh, internal organs of the male. Uh, this would include the seminal vesicle, deferens duct, epididymum, and um, ejaculatory duct because these are, are developed secondary to the testosterone. Testosterone uh, develops the internal organs from the male, but because the testosterone has no action on the tissue because the, the receptor is defective, then the patient would not have either the internal organs of the male. In the external genitalia, quite a similar thing happens. Because there is no dehydrotestosterone, the patient will have no external genitalia. The external genitalia of the male usually is the prostate, penis, and scrotum. But because the, dehydro, the dehydrotestosterone it has no effect because of the defective receptor, the patient has no of these. Now in turn, because the patient has no one of these, there would be only uh, unopposed estrogen uh, effect because the patient has androgen, but they are not effective. So the patient has unopposed estrogen, and so the patient would have female external genitalia. The patient would have the the labia majora, um, the distal vagina, and maybe breast development. Yeah, it depends if the defect on the receptor is complete insensitivity or incomplete. If it is complete, it would be just female uh, external genitalia. If it is complete, it would be um, female external genitalia and male external genitalia. So, because the patient has no androgen um, effect, so the patient will also have no axillary hair. So, the, these patients uh, look like female. Actually, we could say that they are more female than the normal females because these patients have no response to the testosterone and they have the testosterone. testosterone and females have a little bit of response to that. So anyway, um, so we could clinically think that the patient is a female. The diagnosis comes when this female comes due to primary amenorrhea and um, primary amenorrhea and primary amenorrhea and no axillary hair development. So, um, we see that the patient has the um, androgen insensitive syndrome, but this means that the patient is a male, actually, and all the time was raised as a female. Well, uh, the patient is a male, so cannot become pregnant either, because also has no uterus, so this is not a hermaphrodite either. Um, 
the patients also have no internal medicine Italia, so the reproduction is known unless it's something like um, mm, like in in this patient um, being a woman has not because has not has no uterus and being a male mm, the patient have testes testes but they are not responding to the testosterone so don't um, the testes are localized usually on the inguinal canal or on the labia majora so because of the heat or the high temperature we need to remove them to prevent um, tumor of the testes so at age 20 they would be removed uh, so this is one of the causes of primary amenorrhea here the um, uh, chromosomic uh, sex is male because it has the Y the genetic um, sex is also male because it has the SRY that is located on the Y chromosome the um, internal uh, internal sex or primary characteristics are known because it has no female or male internal in Italia and the external um, or the phenotype is a female phenotype so it's a female sex female um, or phenotype of the female but the chromosomic and genetic uh, phenotype or sex is a male